From the nation with the most bullet trains, iconic cultural centers, bridges, walkways made of glass, and of course, Jackie Chan. China has recently unveiled a new invention that'll take space exploration to the next level, in ways that are enough to unnerve the likes of Elon Musk, NASA, and other space-centered organizations. So, what is this new invention? It's an 800-meter rocket. One that will rival SpaceX's Starship and all sorts of other heavy rockets out there. In case you need a refresher of how big 800 meters is, the Empire State Building is only 341 meters tall. This means the rocket will be twice the size of the Empire State Building. This also makes it the biggest rocket ever made by human hands. But what does China hope to accomplish with this behemoth? What's their end game? How is this not-so-little rocket gonna help China not just take over the world, but take over space itself? Buckle up, we have a lot to talk about. There's a lot that can be said about space exploration. The truth is, so much has happened concerning the endeavors of the past century, and that advertises the sheer ambition of the human race. But you can't really talk about that ambition without taking two countries into consideration. The United States and Russia. These world powers were at each other's necks in the late 1900s, constantly competing to see who would be the first to do all sorts of things in space. But now, they seem to be on a collaborative mission, learning from each other and working together to help humanity make great strides in space. They've sent rovers to Mars, had countless satellites and telescopes put in space, and helped improve our understanding of the planet and the universe in general. NASA and Roscosmos, as well as other space organizations, joined hands together in the late 1990s to build the International Space Station. The ISS is the second largest and brightest object in the Earth's orbit after the Moon and weighs 420,000 kilograms, which is equivalent to 350 cars. It's about as big as a football field, and it revolves around the whole world 16 times per day. It took about 10 years to build and 30 missions to assemble bit by bit. Not to mention it costs a whopping $150 million to build. Oh, wait, sorry. $150 billion to build. Fun fact. For the astronauts on the ISS, they actually have to exercise for almost three hours each day so that zero gravity doesn't affect their muscles in negative ways. I guess space would be fun for Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So what does the International Space Station have to do with China? You see, about 15 countries are actively involved in the ISS, as well as other space-centered endeavors, of course. We can't forget private companies like SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk, that have quickly risen to become a major branch of power in space affairs. The thing is, China's not actually one of these countries. No Chinese astronaut has ever set foot in the International Space Station. Plus, China doesn't openly collaborate with the US or any of the aforementioned countries in any space venture whatsoever. In fact, China was banned from the ISS in 2011. But why? Well, because of a little thing called national security. You see, the US Congress has the fear that China's gonna somehow cause harm to them and their assets if they're allowed to access the space station. The common belief is, China is more interested in harnessing space in a way that will help them dominate the world. I mean, there are several ways in which space can be used to cause serious damage, so given China's history and lack of trust, the US Congress thought it was best to ban them. Hence China, a world major power, was excluded from being involved in one of the biggest creations of mankind. Now, any strides that the world makes regarding space affairs, China's left in the dark. China responded by beefing up their space agency. After all, who needs the US? Ever since Russia launched Sputnik in 1957, the race for space power began. The roots of China's space station started around that time. They reached a landmark in 2003 when they sent astronauts to space via the Shenzhou spacecraft, making them the third country in history that successfully sent astronauts, or taikonauts, to space. And after the ban in 2011, China doubled down in their efforts. By 2013, they sent the Chengye 3 to the moon. Chengye 3 was a lunar exploration robot, or lander, meant to study the moon. Since then, they've hit several other milestones. On May 14th, 2021, they sent the Tanwen-1 to Mars. That's a spacecraft consisting of several pieces like cameras, a lander, and the Jurong rover, making them the third country to ever have a landing party on Mars. Now, they're about to take things to another level with the invention of this 800-meter spacecraft. The rocket will be the pinnacle of space vehicles. 
Its range will be about 10,000 kilometers. It'll be taller than skyscrapers and be able to carry a massive payload bigger than any other spacecraft in history. To put this in context, the biggest spacecraft in the world is the Starship, which stands at about 120 meters or 394 feet tall. Its improvement, the Starship 2.0, will be 240 meters tall. It's expected to carry a payload of around 1,000 tons. Imagine just how much a spacecraft of 800 meters can carry. But that's not all. China's also working on making the rocket reusable, just like the Starship, which means it will most likely use methane and oxygen propellants, which is very cost-friendly. China has a lot of space ambitions, which is why they need a big rocket. But is it really possible? Can China build such a humongous rocket? To give you some idea of what China is capable of, the largest rocket that China currently has that's under development is the Long March 9, or the CZ-9, and that's about 110 meters. It's expected to be able to transport 100 tons to the lower Earth orbit and 50 tons into space. Yes, this rocket's going to be able to launch missions and crew into space to explore planets in our solar system with Mars and the Moon being the prime target. They're going to explore the far side of the Moon with their Tychonauts and establish a base on the Moon and Mars. And the word on the web is, unlike the Starship that needs to be refueled before it can go into space, this rocket will not need to go through such constraints. The cost of the Long March 9 is expected to be a whopping 10 to 20 billion dollars, and it's expected to be as operational as early as 2030. Human exploration of the Moon and Mars is set to occur not long after that. This country is audacious in their constructions and innovations, and it's obvious that they're willing to spend a lot of money to make its plans come true. This, in turn, means that the construction of this 800 meter tall rocket is going to cost a lot of money and a lot of time. But China is no stranger to mega-projects such as these. They're already making big moves for their space agency as well. As I mentioned earlier, they've been banned from the ISS, so they decided to build their own station that's going to be 10 times the length of the ISS. This will be called the Tiangong Space Station, which translates to Heavenly Place. It's going to be a next-level body that's set to beat the ISS. It's going to be strictly powered by solar energy, unlike the ISS, which is powered by nuclear energy. They're also going to launch an even better telescope called the Zunshun Flagship Telescope, which should be able to observe 100% of the night sky in less than six months. This telescope is set to beat the Hubble, and it'll occasionally attach itself to the Tunggong Space Station to refuel. The International Space Station is going to be decommissioned by 2031, and when that happens, there will be a vacuum for a massive space station in low Earth orbit, one that China's happy to fill. The best part is, the Tiangong space station is expected to be completed by the end of 22. And the Zunshun telescope is expected to launch in 2023. China has actually set a goal to become the leading space power by the year 2050, so they're putting all hands on deck, which is why this 800 meter rocket is getting closer to becoming a possibility. So does this mean that China's trying to take over the world? Are they intending to act in ways that will be detrimental to countries like the United States? The signs are there, they've set out to build their space station. They have plans to have a base in space, and they're even thinking of establishing a space laboratory, where they'll be able to do all sorts of testing. Given China's military history, it's not out of place to suggest that they have some ominous plans up their sleeves. The United States Economic and Security Review Commission made a report in 2015 based on a study conducted by the University of California concerning China's space dream. The report concludes that China's effort to boost its space program is to become a military, economic, and technological power, and this will come at the expense of the US and its interest. But before you think too badly of the Chinese government, consider that in the past, Russia was accused of the same thing when they launched Sputnik and when they made any major strides in their space program. Recent interviews with Chinese taikonauts showed their mindset towards the restrictions they've been handed. For many of them, they want to work with foreign bodies in space matter as any other country. And it's somewhat sad that China's unable to make a joint contribution to the fray. Like any other country, China's working hard and trying to make strides in its technology. You can tell by its mega projects and incredible constructions. At the end of the day, it doesn't seem like the Chinese are that concerned with ruling the world through space. But like every other country, every other human being, they wish to explore and peer into the realm of space. This is exactly the reason they're working hard to build the biggest rocket the world has ever seen. And knowing the tenacity of them, they're sure to hit that goal in the very near future.
pretty cool, right? I know. Okay, bye-bye.